Have you ever been talking confidently, intelligently, and suddenly your words evaporate? That's not you being awkward or dumb. That's your Broca's area disconnecting. One of the most common complex PTSD side effects that no one talks about. It sits on the left side of your watchtower and it's your language output hub. Its job is to turn thoughts into words, into sentences, into, hang on, I swear I'm smart. Some signs of Broca being offline are sudden word loss, tip of the tongue paralysis, instructions that suddenly don't make any sense, and or the classic fish mouth freeze. It's aphasia light and it is not your fault. Most of us had one moment in childhood that shocked our system so hard, our language center overloaded and shut down. It was a brilliant survival trick then, but it reenacts under stress now. So even mild pressure today can trigger a broken dropout. Someone challenges you, expects a fast answer from you. You feel judged, watched, vulnerable. Here's the science. Broca runs on glutamate, your brain's go chemical. When stress spikes glutamate, Broca glitches. When stress depletes glutamate, Broca glitches. Either way, you'll get sensory images, but zero words. You still know what you want to say, you just can't access the words. Now in the fear circuit, you learn that trauma sensitizes your pain pathways through substance P. Well, trauma also sensitizes your communication pathways. That's why Broca disconnects so easily. It protected you under threat and becomes the gift that keeps right on giving. So the next time your Broca disconnects, say the first three words in my article, pardon my Broca, troubleshooting in the now, because you haven't lost all your words just the words for the topic. So you switch your topic, Broca lets you have your words back. Tomorrow we'll talk about interoception, why the traditional feel into your body approach backfires for trauma survivors and the top down approach I build on my own alexithymia journey.